Hello everyone. As you know, I've been working in strawberries today and I'm going to make some strawberry freezer jam. Now this is the way I make mine. If you make yours different, that's fine. But here we go. Let's make some. Okay. I have to have two cups of strawberries that are chopped up and smashed. And I use the old timey method. This is a potato masher. I mashed them up with this. And then this is a meat masher to mash up hamburger and stuff that you're cooking. And I just use that until I get them a real smooth consistency, kind of like that. Just a little few bites of strawberries left. Okay, now, I have my two cups of strawberries in this bowl um, with four cups of sugar. And I've let that set for 10 minutes. In the meantime, while that was sitting, I took my quart jars and I boiled them for 10 minutes in a water bath just to make sure they're sterilized. And I did the lids also. And go ahead and take this one out. And you wanna boil your lids too. have been scrubbed okay now I've taken three-fourths of a cup of just plain water and I've put it in a pot I'm gonna add one pack of this sure gel pectin I'm gonna put it on the stove and I need to bring it to a boil for 10 minutes. No, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. I need to bring it to a boil for one minute. Then I pour it on my strawberries. In this bowl, where I have the strawberries and the sugar. So let me get this to going. This has to boil for a minute, and then um, we'll pour it. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. We'll bring this to a boil. This is the water in the pectin for one minute. Then we'll pour over the strawberries and let that stand for three minutes, and then we'll pour it into the jars. So, I don't know if any of you's had strawberry jam before, but it's delicious. It'll stay in the freezer for several months till you get it all eat up. And you can put it in the refrigerator when you get ready to eat it, and it'll stay a month. I'm just stirring this constantly. I want it to come to a bowl, a good bowl. For one minute, a rolling bowl. And it's uh, starting to boil. So I'm going to let it boil for a minute. You can see that it's getting thick.
Make sure that your strawberries are all mixed up good with your sugar and they've set for a while. I used to make this a lot, but it's been a long time. I used to make it every summer when strawberries come in and it's so good. And you, you want to put it in kind of small containers like a pint jar or if you've got any kind of containers that you want to put it in. Um, because when you take it out, it lasts in the refrigerator for a month. But it'll be gone. Okay, it's been just about a minute. And it says to pour it onto your strawberries. Now it's a good rolling bowl. And it's kind of turned white and it's thick. Make sure it's a rolling bowl. There's a bowl and then there's a rolling bowl. But um, this is really boiling now. So I'm gonna cut it off. And I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm going to pour it, pour it onto our strawberries. And then I'm going to stir it up good. Get all of it out of there. Stir it up good. And let it set for three minutes. And my mother, she had a um, a piece that you put down in your jar that keeps it from spilling. But of course, I cannot find it. I'm gonna rinse this pot out in case this wants to stick in the pot. The hardest part of this recipe is mashing up the strawberries, but I'm sure that you could do it in a food processor if you wanted them to be uh, just uh, without the little strawberry pieces. But we like it a little bit chunky. So, while that's sitting, I'm going to try to get out my rings that go on my jars. Make sure that you boil them. They don't have to boil for 10 minutes. But they need to boil to soften up the ring, the cap.
And uh, if you want to make uh, a double run, you can. I've got more here. I don't know if I have enough. Starting to get thick. Make sure that your strawberries are really ripe. Okay, I think that's probably been three minutes. Maybe not hardly. Put it in your jar. It says that this will make five pints. I don't know. But this is the way you do it. Just pour it in here and try not to spill it. Now you don't want to go all the way up. You want to leave some space. Clean off your jar. And then put your lid on. And there you have it. That'll be so good. And I'm going to leave it out for 24 hours. And then... It'll be ready to go into the freezer and eat. So you all have a good day. And thank you all for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I want to start going, making a lot more videos. And um, you all have a good day. Stay safe. And remember, I love you all. Read all your messages. And thank you. Have a good day.